Welcome to the Natural Health Show with one of New England's leading holistic specialists, Mark Mincola. Call Mark at 617-822-1969 on 96.9 Boston Talks. Greetings and welcome home, Natural Health Nation. I'm Mark Mincola. Great to be with you on this magnificent Sunday, early spring Sunday. Looking good out there. And uh, hopefully you're looking good inside and out. That's what we're here to talk to you about. We're here to talk with you about your health, your natural health. And, of course, we look for your calls at 617-822-1969 or Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. And, again, great to be with you. We're talking always about your health issues. You know, one topic that uh, we've not talked a lot about that uh, I'm looking forward to chatting with you about this evening is the idea of cognitive decline. A lot of folks not aware that they actually have a lot to say regarding the prospects for maintaining a good, strong, clear, functioning brain. But uh, interesting studies we're going to chat about regarding that very topic with you. Uh, You know, a recent questionnaire in Parade magazine asked Americans the greatest fear regarding aging. 29% said that physical decline is what they feared most. 62% said mental decline is what they feared the most. And uh, today it's estimated that one-third of all Americans, one-third of all American adults will experience a severe form of decline in their ability to think, learn, and remember. Cognitive decline, of course, entails uh, memory problems, dementia, Alzheimer's, etc. And uh, I thought that uh, a really remarkable point to bring out this evening is uh, the uh, recent studies that have been done at Rush Medical College. Rush Medical College has done some remarkable research in these areas, and uh, we're going to talk about that this evening. But, you know, the real key here is is that uh, you can make a difference with nutrition, You can make a difference with nutritional supplementation. The Rush Medical College in Chicago looked at 3,790 individuals. They followed over a period of seven and a half years, and they measured their cognitive response in two different frameworks. One, the classic USDA-recommended diet, or the perhaps standard American diet, with a little bit of uh, extra added calcium and dairy, etc., versus the Mediterranean diet. We've heard an awful lot about the Mediterranean diet and its heart-smart qualities. Now we're talking about a study that was done recently at the Rush Medical College in Chicago regarding the Mediterranean diet's ability to slow the mental decline processes. Significantly so, by the way. We're talking about making a significant difference in this particular study uh, which was published in the Journal of American Academy of Neurology, the Mediterranean diet versus the standard American diet showed a difference of more than two years of mental decline. More than two years of mental decline. So, you know, what is the reason for it? Obviously, there's issues regarding the kind of saturated fats, the hydrogenated and trans fats that are in the standard American diet that clog up the arteries in the brain, etc. There's also, you know, the idea that uh, omega-6s tend to be very highly concentrated in the standard American diet. The Mediterranean diet, of course, high omega-3s. Good fat versus bad fat, it seems to come at us in a myriad of ways. It's obviously, you know, an issue when it comes to heart disease, but it's also an issue when it comes to memory and uh, functional decline, as it were, of processes that uh, are being looked at now at Rush Medical College. The way your brain works certainly is indeed very, very interested in the good fat issue. And also, you know, not to mention that The standard American diet is very low in B-complex vitamins. A lot of sugar that eradicates a lot of those B-complex vitamins. And a very important point here is is that uh, the Mediterranean diet is, of course, much, much higher in vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. Once again, research indicates that those are very important factors when it comes to cognitive decline, memory, learning, Etc. So we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about your questions regarding vitamins, minerals, natural health as well. It's 617-822-1969 or Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. We'll be right back after these messages. 
Questioning authority is a Boston tradition. And the tradition lives on right here. Any questions? 96.9 Boston Talks. Do you own or manage a natural health, fitness, day spa, or go green business? Perhaps you have a unique restaurant that offers healthy entrees, heart-smart seafood, vegetarian or lighter fare options. I invite you to share your vision and deliver your message directly to health-conscious New Englanders by becoming a sponsor of the Natural Health Show, New England's number one health radio show. The Natural Health Show is now welcoming potential sponsors to join our natural health family by offering a number of creative and flexible sponsorship packages. For information on how to become a sponsor of the Natural Health Show, simply call Candida at 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. Be a part of New England's natural health revolution. Join our Natural Health Show family today. There are many things we cannot control in life. The one thing we can control is how we choose to take care of ourselves. Hi, this is Mark Mincola, New England's leading natural health care expert. Join me for my monthly live webinars. The key in making your health a priority is becoming educated on how your body works and how to make it work for you. We're continually listening to our valuable feedback, and the one thing that requests most of us is to provide more cutting-edge educational motivational tools. Join me for my monthly live webinars as I educate individuals on how to work nutrition and overall health permanently into their lifestyle. We understand that even with the power of the Internet, it is still difficult to find health information that is relevant, backed by science, understood, and can be implemented into your lifestyle. My live nutrition webinar series takes place on the first Monday of each month at 12 noon. For only $99, you can participate in all 12 webinars Webinars. For more information, log on to MyHealthyLivingMag.com or call 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune-related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, headaches, and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitess Medical Labs at FoodAllergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Halitess also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy-free and stress-free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million food allergy sufferers in America? If so, log on to Halitess Medical Labs, FoodAllergy.com. Talk to your doctor about ordering a food allergy test from Halitess Medical Labs today. Food allergy Com. Make sure the food you're eating isn't what's depleting you. One minute to rejoin. 1877 Cards for Kids. K A R S Cards for Kids. 1877 Cards for Kids. Donate your card today. 1877 Cards for Kids. K A R S Cars for Kids. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. That's cars with a K. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a free vacation voucher of three days and two nights. 1877 Cars for Kids. K-A-R-S, Cars for Kids. 1877, Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless Pound, 96.9. Just a couple uh, couple little tidbits of old business. Last uh, Sunday, we did a program on food irradiation. Two calls in particular came in. Uh, one was from a gentleman that talked about uh, the fact that when we were kids growing up, they spoke of Nagasaki and Hiroshima producing such incredibly intense levels of radiation from those bombs that uh, those areas would be toxic and uh, would be so for many, many years. Why is it that people are living there now, etc.? It was a great question. I looked it up, found out that only 5% of the radiation emitted at Nagasaki and Hiroshima was initial radiation, and the remainder 
uh, the rest of the amount released was only t uh, residual. So the point of it is that 80 to 90 percent of that radiation was residual, which was released, and they said within one week 90 percent of that radiation was cleared. Um, supposedly within 24 hours of the bombing, most of that was dissipated. That's that's what the uh, that's what the latest information is the, on that particular topic. Also, a, a woman who was a nurse called in regarding. I think she was an X-ray tech, if I remember correctly, and wanted to know where she could be scanned after 20 years of working as an X-ray tech. And I found that there's a place right here uh, nearby uh, in Watertown called RMD. R. Robert M. Mark D. David RMD. It's Radiation Monitoring Devices Inc. And it's 617-668-6800. Or you can go to info at rmdinc.com. So just a little bit of information for two callers that I uh, couldn't help out last Sunday. And uh, let's get right on to business here. We've got some calls coming in right now. We've got uh, Peggy from Wilmington. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Good. Um, been diagnosed with cervical stuff going on, and I wonder if there's anything I can eat or take as a vitamin to help me. Well, first of all, I assume that uh, you're talking about uh, some yeast problems. Is that correct? I don't know yeast. I think it's more than that. They said it's a bad pap, so, and it's been going on now a mm, year and a half. They right. Me. Well, of course, Dr. Tullio Simoncini from Italy, who is the great uh, author of uh, Cancer is a fungus is uh, is an oncolo respected oncologist in Europe who uh, biopsied over a thousand tumor sites and found out at the core of those tumors there was actually colonies of fungus. So it's uh, his contention and the contention of many people that especially in these genital urinary areas, uh, bad paps and uh, various uh, prostate and or uterine cancer problems, etc., uh, really have a, a root system with yeasts, single cell bacteria, candida problems. So the first su first suggestions over the past uh, 30 years of folks that I've worked with is just to be really careful about avoiding, you know, the vinegars, the fermented foods in the form of marinades, yeasted breads. You want to do yeast-free breads, which they have at uh, Good Health Natural Foods. The health food stores now carry, of course, uh, an option for yeast-free uh, bread products. Also, you don't want to cut down on sugar. You want to cut down on vinegars and uh, I think it's really important to, to avoid nuts because of their, their fungal properties as well. So, I mean, that's a starting point. Secondly, yeah, there's a couple natural things that I would, would highly recommend. There's, there's actually a topical agent that you can apply. Uh, there's a company that makes one called Aura Thrush, O-R-A-T-H-R-U-S-H, and the other one is Candida Guard. Pretty much the same pro product, uh, the two different names for a liquid sorbic acid, S-O-R-B-I-C, sorbic acid, uh, which can be diluted and applied topically. And uh, sor sorbic acid is really nothing more than an antifungal that is from coconut. Uh, so that's a really important product. And then internally, I would take uh, Paudiarco, which is, a, which is an herb you can find at virtually any of the health food stores, P-A-U-D-A-R-C-O, and I'd recommend two capsules twice and one other uh, coconut product, which would be called caprylic acid, C-A-P-R-Y-L-I-C, caprylic acid, and I'd recommend two of those caps twice as well. So I think that diet and just a few of those supplements, uh, give it a good month, and then uh, maybe you can get back and get retested. Wonderful. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. Once again, our number's here on the Natural Health Show, 617-8221-969. Verizon Wireless Free call pound 96.9. Let's get to uh, Deborah from Halifax. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Show. Hi, you know it's me. Hello there, darling. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I make my client at this time just so we can talk. You're the best. Uh, um, I did want to mention the webinars that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on Candida's mailing list. Yep. So I know about all this stuff. You know, just from getting a uh, weekly mailing. Great. If, that mentions, if you want to mention that to anybody, I don't know if you did. Well, no, the, uh, web the webinars are uh, really, they're really uh, picking up for us. A lot of folks interested in, you know, it's, it's an incredible, uh, an incredible program because they're a one-hour program, as you say, the first Monday, actually. If I'm not mistaken, our webinar is next Monday, I think the, the 11th at, yeah. at 12 o'clock. But uh, generally speaking, the first Monday of each month, and uh, it goes on for 12 months, and we've got some great topics for regarding uh, topics that, uh, you know, are aligned with a lot of the questions we get here on the Natural Health Show each and every Sunday. So it's, uh, you know, 99 bucks gets you uh, 12 hours of one-on-one uh, -on -one through uh, this remarkable medium of... Uh, 
of uh, seminaring that we can do through the webinar processes. It's just pretty remarkable. Yeah. And, you, were, uh, you also were mentioning allergies, and I think, you know, in my profession as reflexology and massage therapist, yep. it's, so, it's so cute how often people get off our chair or table, um, you know, weeping just a little bit. Right. And they, men, they, they say it's because they have allergies. Yep. And really it's because our, our treatments actually affected their, their well-being. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting how allergies and these other things kind of uh, bring the toxins out. Oh, there's no question about the fact everything kind of moves this time of year. Everything mm-hmm. everything thaws out, you know, in, in another um, week or two or three, that's even going to be worse. I think, you know, folks are going to be finding those eyes get watery, that nose runs, and a, a lot of that uh, allergy activity is, is the body's way of saying, hey, it's time to uh, pay attention to what's going on inside. And it's a great time of year to do a little bit of a cleanse, a little bit of a detox. Um, one of the shows we're going to do in the next several weeks here is about detox and about why would you do it, about what What's the importance of it? How can you really do it safely and effectively, etc.? But I think, you know, the body's talking. You're absolutely right. And mm-hmm. all those tissues that are uh, filled with all kinds of inflammatory problems uh, are really kind of weeping them out this time of year, or will be soon anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. And the other thing that um, I wanted to mention to you was um, on the mindset, getting el- getting older, is coconut oil. Yep. I read an um, article on coconut oil and its effects, whether you put it in your morning breakfast, put it in your oatmeal, put it, you know, daily doses of coconut oil. Um, and helping the, the mind increase. Did you want to talk a little bit well, about that? Well, that's a great idea because, you know, you know, the idea of good fat, bad fat. You were talking about, like, the omega-3s, which, of course, are anti-inflammatory. Cognitive decline is an inflammatory problem in the brain. There's no question about it. We know now from a lot of the research that cognitive decline is one of those inflammatory conditions. We always say that, you know, 72% of disease is inflammatory. Cognitive decline is one of those problems. But, again, you want to neutralize bad hormones that cause inflammation through bad Bad fats with good fats. And uh, yeah, the medium chain uh, fats that are in coconut are actually really, really helpful. They're very anti inflammatory, they're antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial. So there's no question about the fact that coconut oil is a good way to go for this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a, a quick mention, we could talk all day, right? A quick mention of um, doing mind games for the elderly, even like just sitting down and not just doing photo albums, but writing underneath what the photo is. Neuroplasticity, just, of course. The neuroplasticity yeah. research, you know, as of 1993, we learned that the, the brain that you're born with does not have to be the brain that you die with. Mm-hmm. You know, for years we used to think that we couldn't help the way we thought, and our brain patterns and thought patterns are oftentimes sort of aligned with the way mom and dad used to think, and hey, my mom was that way, I'll always be that way. No, that's not true. You know, actually, it's more natural for the brain to go through these really dramatic changes and shifts, and it's looking for new ways to think. So a lot of the new researchers from University of Wisconsin and University of California, Berkeley, people that are working with Merzenich and Richard Davidson, people like that, these researchers have found that, you know, when you do simple things like uh, get dressed in the dark or or maybe uh, drive home a different way or walk a different path as as you especially as you age to do things differently to think of things differently to uh to work the different vectors of your brain and to think in new ways is remarkably renewing for the way the brain works mm-hmm. so you're absolutely right Excellent. Well, hey thank you so much. great to talk to you again deborah all right you be well yourself you too thanks for calling all right, let's see. We've got another caller, too. Mike from Roslindale. Uh, welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Thank you, Mark. Um, my mother has been diagnosed with breast cancer She about three weeks ago. She mm-hmm. started chemotherapy. She's doing very badly in chemotherapy. It gets a lot of um, nausea. She, um, she has one tumor in her breast, one tumor in the um, left breast, that is, and one tumor in the um, uh, lymph node underneath the arm. And uh, she's been checked for cancer everywhere else with the CAT scan and the bone scan. She's got no other cancer. I'm very upset about the chemotherapy, Mark. I don't, I mean, to me, it's just poisoning the body. It, it's like lighting a whole a city on fire to kill a mouse in one person's house. Um, what's your opinion on, on chemotherapy? Well, I think, you know, here's the key. I think each one of us, when we're confronted with the horrible problem that your poor mom has been confronted with uh, and that you have as well with her, uh, you know, have very serious personal decisions to make. And I think that the key really here is is that you've, you know, arrived at your own conclusions. And, again, I've worked with so many people over 30 years, 
some do extremely well with it. You know, believe me when I tell you, some do and some don't, and it's quite uh, bio-individualistic from one person to another. I think the key really is each person has to address it based on their own best available information, and uh, and unfortunately, in some cases, that means experiential information that doesn't go well. Uh, so I'm very, very sorry that it worked that way for you and for your mom. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the other possibilities here, of course, are that you you might contact uh, a number of other different uh, institutions that do things a little bit differently. The cancer centers, cancer treatment centers of America do things a little bit differently from time to time. You might look into them as well. So, you know, you're still a consumer. You have an opportunity to make different choices, and you do have options out there. So, do you have any ideas for any supplements or anything that will, will make it more successful? Or well, maybe- you know, there, there have been studies that indicate that, uh, you know, things like... Um, you know, some of the pungent herbs and the anti-inflammatory herbs and foods we often talk about have really indeed helped certain folks in studies. Um, in fact, some of them actually make the chemo a better experience as well. So, um, you know, I always recommend things like the um, black cumin seed oil. Great research that was done at the um, at the uh, Jefferson Medical College down in Philadelphia, University of Pittsburgh recently, 2009. I think those studies are both done on black cumin seed oil because of the thymus quinones in it, very powerful agents that have, uh, you know, that they've identified that uh, in vitro have really made quite a difference, um, and they're intriguing, you know, they're intriguing, you can get those, I know Good Health Natural Foods, uh, we've, we've made sure that they have plenty on stock, so uh, there's a 500 milligram uh, pearl or capsule uh, that is an oil-based capsule that they have, and that is, uh, again, available at Good Health Natural Foods. Those are 500 milligram caps. I'd recommend like two of those caps three times a day. You know, always heard me t- you talk about the anti-inflammatory dietary perspective as well. You know, avoiding nuts, avoiding uh, dairy, red meats, egg yolks, uh, vinegar products, you know, sugars, and highly fermented marinades. Those are really important to avoid as well. You know, and to focus more on using fatty fish in the diet, on using whole grain products, uh, not white flour products, uh, low glycemic whole grain products. Obviously, uh, fatty fish is important, fruits, vegetables. So real clean eating is, uh, is where it all starts in my mind. And I think that uh, natural supplements such as some of those that we mentioned are, can be very helpful as well. You know, not to mention, don't... Uh, don't ever minimize the, the possibility of herbs making a difference here in, t- in terms of spices. Again, the USDA did some remarkable ORAC factor studies back in 2006, you know, regarding the power, the oxygen radical absorbance capacity power of certain spices, things like turmeric, things like cumin, things like oregano, very powerful agents. You know, the, f- the highest foods were ranked around 14,000 points. Quarter teaspoon of spice is anywhere from 50 to 150, 200,000 points. So, you know, use those spices. Spices use those wholesome organic foods, and uh, hopefully we can help make a difference here. Any validity to vitamin C injections, Mark? Um, you know, once again, I mean, there are some interesting studies that indicate that uh, that could be helpful because of the fact that you're dealing Great. mostly with an antioxidant that, uh, that has those, those potentials. You know, a lot of the University of Oregon research on vitamin C is really pretty promising, but I, I think you really, need to, uh, you really need to do some broad-spectrum research in this. Go to our website, and we act, we have a, a specific cancer page on our website that I'd refer you to. And then if you have further questions, you call me at my work. Thank you. My pleasure. Good luck to you. All right, we're up against a break time here. And uh, once again, our number is 617-822-1969. And Verizon Wireless free call pound at 96.9. we got some messages to deal with. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Get up and get going with Jim and Marjorie. There is no single thing we could do that would get America more fit than throwing out every chair in this country and sitting on one of these inflated bowls. If these kids are rolling around behind their desk, they're going to behave better, they're going to be more alert, they won't misbehave as much, and they may burn a few calories while they're rolling around on their bus in class. Jim and Marjorie, now at their new time, weekday mornings, 6 to 10, on 96.9 Boston Talks. It seems as though the whole world is rapidly changing. We're all becoming more passionate about natural health, personal growth, 
and living life at a higher level. Hi, this is Mark Mincola. I invite you to join me April 11th, Monday, 7 to 9, at Hope Floats in Kingston, Mass., for a very special inspirational presentation entitled Living Truly Healthy, Whole, and Healed. During this presentation, I will share some of my most inspiring life lessons learned from 30 years of natural health and healing work. In addition to our theme of healing inspiration, I will also share the latest information regarding the very best natural ways to get and stay holistically healthy. I assure you, you won't want to miss this truly remarkable evening of inspiration, health, and healing. It's time for us to all begin our personal transformations together. That's April 11th, Monday from 7 to 9 at Hope Floats in Kingston with me, Mark Mincola. To register, call 781-834-2728 at 781-834-2728 or online at myhealthylivingmag.com. The brain requires nutrition just like the rest of the body. Although many of us depend upon caffeine for focus and concentration, caffeine is not actually a nutrient. Real nutrition is needed to enhance brain metabolism and provide antioxidant protection. This is where Jaro Formula's Neuro Optimizer comes to the rescue. Neuro Optimizer is a concentrated source of the nutrients needed for memory and mood, for concentration and focus, all without being a stimulant. Neuro Optimizer supplies the building blocks for neurotransmitters, the chemicals that allow cells in the brain to communicate and to file away memories. Acetyl-L-carnitine and alpha-lipoic acid support brain energy production. Phosphatidylserine, L-glutamine, and taurine enhance brain stability and detoxification in the face of stress. Neurooptimizer is the nutritional answer to the brain's needs. Ask for Neurooptimizer at your local health food store. Or for more information, go to Jarro.com. That's J-A-R-R-O-W for the best in brain health formulas. Tired of one-size-fits-all nutrition and wellness plans? Would you like to have a customized plan for you and you alone? Now you can learn a remarkable bioenergetic system that enables you to effortlessly self-analyze and customize your own nutrition and wellness. Hi, I'm Mark Mincola, New England's leading natural health care expert. Join me for an all-day muscle testing intensive seminar on Saturday, May 14th at the Angels of Light Healing and Intuitive Center in Normal, Massachusetts. Come learn my EMT muscle testing system firsthand. Find out more about your body's bioenergetic strengths and and weaknesses, and learn how to tailor a nutrition and wellness plan that better suits your body's personalized needs. For more information, call 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728, or log on to myhealthylivingmag.com. Come learn to maximize and personalize your wellness. Hey folks, this is Chris Miller with Miller Mortgage and Peabody. Whether purchasing or refinancing, consider what a Miller Mortgage can do for you. 30-year fixed, at 4.875%, no points, no closing costs. 15-year fixed, 4.25%, no points, no closing costs. Call now, 888-314-1880. 888-314-1880. If you have a $300,000 mortgage at 5.875% and lowered your rate to 4.875%, you could save over $200 a month, and it costs you zero to do so. Also, cutting your loan term to 25 or 20 years could keep your payment the same and save you thousands. Call now and lower your monthly payments, 888-314-1880. That's 888-314-1880. Miller Mortgage is an accredited Better Business Bureau member. Loan terms based on a $300,000 loan. APR 4.66%, 180 payments, rates and terms subject to change. They arrange but do not make loans. Mass license number MB4754. Now back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless Pound 96.9. We uh, did start off chatting with you a little bit about, I think, an interesting uh, way to look at uh, things these days in terms of cognitive decline. There's no question that it's uh, a very real issue. One-third of all American adults will experience uh, a decline in their ability to be able to think, learn, and uh, remember and, uh, you know, a recent uh, Parade poll, Parade magazine poll that we spoke of at the uh, outside of the broadcast uh, talked about only 29% said that the Americans said that the the one thing they feared the greatest regarding their aging processes was physical decline. 29% said physical decline. 62% said they most feared mental decline. Understandable problem. And, uh, you know, we mentioned that uh, the rush 
medical college studies uh, of 2003, and another more recent study that just appeared uh, in January of this year, 2011, uh, point to the fact that, folks, guess what? The Mediterranean diet is not only good for your heart, it's obviously good for your brain as well. So the long and short, just to kind of really cut right to the chase here, is good fat versus bad fat. And the key is the Mediterranean diet is rich, of course, in fatty fish, olive oil, vegetables, nuts and seeds, and the polyphenols in those grapes in the they talk about the red wine. Don't overdo that part of it. Uh, sometimes people lose track of the Mediterranean diet and say, hey, I'm on the Mediterranean diet. I'm drinking plenty of red wine. What about the rest of the program, guys? Come on here. Don't forget the uh, the rest of the dietary part of the equation. <laughs> anyway, so important stuff here in terms of good fat, bad fat. And uh, again, they made a two-year difference. And these folks, uh, 3,790 of them over the age of 65, were followed for almost eight years, seven and a half years. And they found that uh, they monitored them uh, up to five times a year, cognitively speaking, and found that those folks who are on the Mediterranean diet actually had two a two-year younger, a two-year average of uh, younger brain function and better memory function, etc. So quite a difference, uh, really no question about the fact that the good fat uh, was a difference maker. What is, what is the standard American diet or the USDA diet? High in red meats, uh, dairy fats such as cheese, whole milks, and things like that. So, you know, the, the standard American diet, rich in sugar, fatty meats, and fatty dairy is not going to get it done. That's going to clog up the arteries in the brain. It's going to uh, impede circulation, etc. as opposed to, again, the fatty fish, olive oil, nuts, seeds, vegetables, and fruits of the Mediterranean diet. They're going to do just the opposite. So interesting stuff. Check it out, and uh, let's get to your calls here. we got Rita from Walpole. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. Hi. You're the Natural Health Show. Hi, how are you? Um, well, I'm pretty good. Good. <laughs> um, I'm a diagnosed with H. pylori, mm -hmm. uh, um, March 11th, I had the endoscopy, Right. and um, I'm just wondering what food should I was on that prev pack. Yes, and uh, that oh, that really did a number on my body. It was hard. The uh, the I don't know what was worse, the uh, H pylori or the uh, the medication. Yeah, well, some folks don't do well with that particular yeah. medication. Well, I and... just yes, and I just finished it Friday. Okay. Now I'm just wondering. Um, I have to go back for a breath test uh, yep. two weeks. Uh, should I avoid certain foods? Uh, or I mean, he didn't say anything about that. Well, yeah, there's a couple things I'd recommend. Uh, let's talk about the supplement part of it first, and I'll come back to foods. Okay. Uh, there's something called Saccharomyces bouillardii, big word. Oof. But uh, Saccharomyces, S-A-C-C-H. We'll just start off with that little prefix, S-A-C-C-H. They'll know what it is. It's a probiotic. If you just tell them you want the probiotic, uh, the Jaro Formulas makes a great one. And Jaro Formulas makes the probiotic. And, again, the prefix is S-A-C-C-H. If you just tell them you want the probiotic with that prefix, they'll know exactly what you're talking about. Jaro, J-A-R-O. That's correct. Mm -hmm, yep. And you want to take two of those a day, one in the morning and one before bed. In addition, they make another product called Mastic Gum. M-A-S-T-I-C, Mastic Gum. Mm -hmm. And those are 500 milligram caps. I take one of those before you go out the door in the morning and one of those before bed as well. So two of each, they can be taken at the same time quite conveniently and they're going to really help you a lot. The other part of the equation is, yeah, you want to be very, very careful about fermented foods. You know, we always talk about vinegars and peanut butters, uh, marinades, you know, too much beer and wine, any of those kind of right, drink, yeasty yeah. breads or sugars. You know, I tell you for 10 days, you want to do absolutely no sugary kind of foods. You shouldn't be doing a lot of those anyway because that's going to actually produce more of an, ac an acidity and more of a fermentation problem, too. So, so avoid sugar. Yep. I would say absolutely yes. Okay. All right. Um, and you want to be careful about any kind of acidic foods, at least early on right now. So you want to be careful about too much of the tomato sauce and the, uh, and the lemons, etc. So mm -hmm. hold down that acidity and certainly try to avoid the yeasted breads and sugars. Take those two supplements, and uh, I'm sure you'll have great, uh, great success. Okay. And no, uh, like, salad dressing. Correct. Just olive oil, maybe. That's exactly olive what I would salad. recommend. Yep. Okay, and uh, okay. What about uh, gluten-free uh, breadcrumbs? Like, if I wanted, you know, to use the gluten-free. Yeah, I think the problem there isn't just the gluten. I think the problem there is is the yeast in those breadcrumbs. I think oh. you want to be careful about the yeast. Again, it's fermented. You're dealing with a bacterial problem. Don't feed right. it. 
Okay, so avoid all bread for how long, 10 yeah, days? Yeah, give it give it at least a 10- to 14-day period, and then when you even bring those things back, go real easy on them. Like, don't do as many of them as you have in the past. Okay, and Cut. avoid peanut butter. You betcha. And what about walnuts? Uh, walnuts are fine. I'd stay away from the peanut butter. And almonds? And pistachios. No, no, yeah, almonds are fine. No pistachios, no peanuts. Um, chocolate? No. Um, sugar, you know, you got to worry about the sugar. Oh, yeah. I usually have dark chocolate, like, you know, a little of that after I eat. Well, let's face it, there are the dark chocolates that aren't really high in sugar. I mean, I no, think that, uh, low. yeah, there's some that are pretty low in there. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a distinction to be made between the milk chocolates that are high in sugar and, the, and some of the dark chocolates that mm -hmm. are low in sugar. But I'd say if you get a dark chocolate that's low in sugar, you shouldn't have any problem with that. Okay. And um, I wanted to ask you about enzymes. Should I take enzymes? Well, Digestive enzymes? You don't have a juicer at home, do you? I, no, I have a blender. Okay, if there's any way that you can uh, get on down to Target and get yourself one of those Jack LaLanne Pros, because very inexpensive, uh, yeah. simple to do, and to just juice up a little bit of fresh juice every day, at least eight ounces a day, uh, what a difference that makes. And you've got to drink those juices within 20 minutes of, of making them because the enzymes die after 20 minutes. But, you know, that's how you really flood yourself with a cascade of uh, living enzymes to make a big, big difference. There's nothing like a living enzyme to really make a difference in digestion. So the juice thing, like, uh, uh, what about, like, you mean for fresh fruit? Yeah, to juice an apple, you can juice things. Uh, the three things or I carrots. usually recommend, yeah, I, no, I usually recommend apples, pears, and celery. Great combination apples, to start off with. Pears and celery, yep. yeah. Okay, and uh, there was another question. What about fish oil? Should I, I, I take that? Should I... No, I take it. No, I think your fish oil is fine. It's anti-inflammatory, and there's no question about the fact that when you do have esophageal reflux and any kind of these H. pylori problems, at least early on, mm. the 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 exceedingly high levels of fat are not well tolerated. Fat's pretty molecularly dense; it's a little bit hard for your body to process. So, during these periods where your H. pylori is weakening your digestive tract, you're not going to be as efficient breaking down heavy foods. So, you know, generally speaking, keep the fats to a dull roar. But the fish oil capsules are anti-inflammatory. I'd say. Stay with them. Okay. And a multivitamin. Um, sure, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's see, anything else I want to ask <laughs> you? Uh, I know. Oh, and I, yeah, I finished the, um, you know, the antibiotic. However, I noticed my stomach still is a little... A little bloated? Upset, yeah. Little, okay. A little upset. It's still upset. It comes and goes. Yeah, well, again, I think if you get yourself some good Saccharomyces boulardii, like we talked about, the SACCH prefix that we mentioned earlier, you're, you're going to basically uh, give yourself a lot more positive floral bacterial support. That should make a difference. The difference with this upset stomach. You betcha. Which, uh, it comes and goes. Yep. Okay, well, right. thank you. You've My been pleasure. very helpful. So that's mastic, mastic <laughs> gum? Mastic gum, yes, indeed. And take two, one in the morning and one later in the that's day? That's it, 500 twice. Same thing with the uh, Saccharomyces, absolutely. Saccharomyces. That's, All right. That's quite a name. Okay, Thanks thank for calling. You. All right, thank my pleasure. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yep. All right, we've got uh, Jean in the line from Boston. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hi. I was wondering if you've ever heard of a supplement called Vema, V-E-M-M-A. It has mangosteen in it. V-E-M-M-A? Right. No, don't know it. Oh, okay. It actually, actually, they actually The Vema product actually has double-blind studies, which shows it does significantly reduce the, the systemic inflammation and significantly increase your immune system. Well, it has, if, he talked about the ORAC value. Yeah. It has extreme potent ORAC value also. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, it's, it's one of those... Uh one of those polyphenol-rich juices. You know, any of Break. these uh, berry-type juices, uh, the acai and uh, and the pomegranate, these are all really, really high in uh, ORAC factor because of the polyphenols that they have. So, you know, there's so many of them out there right now. It's just incredible, and I can't keep up with all those, but it sounds like you got something that has a pretty good uh, uh, study background behind it, which is a good thing. But uh, thank you very much for calling. We're going to take a short little break. We're up against that time now. And uh, when we come back, we're actually going to have an interesting conversation conversation with Father Peter Bowes, who's a very interesting gentleman, and I think you're going to enjoy what he has to say. So stay tuned. Be right back. So what's new for insiders? Win a $50 certificate to Uno's so you can check out their new menu featuring intensely flavorful and nutritious choices. Uno's, that's why they're here. Plug in, boot up, log on. Online, on demand, 96.9, bostontalks.com. Hi, this is Laura from Good Health. Now is the time we need to think about getting fit and preparing for spring. 
If you've overindulged or just want to tone up, there are safe, natural pills, powders, and juices to help boost your metabolism, curb appetite, and block fat absorption. Some of our favorites include Life Extension's Optimized Urbingia with green tea, seaweed, and white kidney bean. Oprah and Dr. Oz are even talking about this one. It's a breakthrough African mango formulation that has been proven effective for weight loss. Check out our acai diet and cleanse with exotic foods like goji, mangosteen, and noni. Pure, energizing products that cleanse and detoxify to help you lose those inches and pounds quickly. No artificial stimulants, just clean, potent ingredients. At Good Health in Quincy and Hanover, you'll find nutritional cleansing products for yeast, heavy metals, or parasites, liver, colon, and whole body cleansing kits. Safe, proven, organic solutions to help you feel more confident today. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon. Are you seeking balance in your life? Would you like to feel more peaceful and joyful? Join Father Peter Bowes at the Center of Light in Framingham to discover the patterns that keep people off balance and feeling unsettled. Seeking inner balance and peace begins with self-understanding. Father Peter will be presenting seminars on April 28th, 29th, and 30th, focusing on intuition, emotion, the spiritual path, and conscious parenting. All topics that help people get clear about who they are, why they're alive, and how to bring peace to all aspects aspects of their life. Find out more by calling 617-990-7411. That's 617-990-7411. The seminars will be April 28th, 29th, and 30th. Call 617-990-7411. 617-740-9911. Or go to boston.centersoflight.org. That's boston.centersoflight.org. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. All right, we've got uh, Father Peter Bowes on the line. Doctor, Doctor, uh, Father Peter Bowes is an ordained priest and teacher, and aside from being a master teacher, he's also been called an Internet guru for his growing online presence in social media avenues such as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And Father Peter Bowes, welcome to the Natural Health Show. Oh, thanks for having me. Great to have you on board. Talk to us a little bit about uh, the upcoming uh, talks that you're going to be giving. Uh, those sound very exciting. Yeah, I'll be talking about the mystical life and um, how to have an inner relationship with God On um, when I get to Boston. I think it's on... It's April. Going to be, yeah, April 28th through May 1st, yeah. and you're going to be speaking on interesting topics. The Divine Feminine, Following Your Intuition, right. uh, that sounds fascinating. And The Hunter's Heart, Male Emotion and Spiritual Path, yeah. Advice to Parents, yes? Yes, and that's uh, some of the inner work that, that men have to do, and it's for women too, so they can understand what men go through on the spiritual path, because it's a little bit different than what women go through in their process. Now, and, also, and also listening within. To the, to the real deeper part of our being. Now, we're not used to thinking of a, of a Catholic priest as being somebody who is perhaps interested in intuition and holistic medicine and things of this nature. So, uh, fascinating to hear of your interest in these areas and your expertise in these areas. Uh, can you speak to that a little bit? Well, I'm not a Catholic priest. Uh, I was raised Catholic, but I'm more of a mystical Christian priest, and we're definitely... Um, more psychologically oriented because we we do inner work with people and get to the the real blocks in their psyche that keep them from being whole and keep them from being balanced and you know it's a it's a lot of listening within and and I guess disciplining the body and the mind and getting centered and and we use a lot of meditation a lot of get, getting still in our hearts. Mm-hmm. So how do you see spirituality or spiritual growth impacting people's physical health? Well, the, the, much of the, the, the unhealthiness that we have in our, in our physical bodies is due to the stress mm-hmm. and to the nervousness and anxiety of our lives and the, the fast-paced motion of our lives. And meditation is really helpful in helping people just relax and still, and it, it uh, lowers the blood pressure and... Uh, gives them a sense of uh, non-reactive space and a little time before they have to respond to things. And I think that's what they find with most meditators who've done it for a while. They they don't uh, react as impulsively, and they think a little bit before they speak, and they have a little more peace in their being. And, and with that, all the organ systems are going to be functioning much more properly and much much more wholly. 
holistically. Absolutely. How would you recommend one go about finding a, uh, a teacher for spiritual development, spiritual support in their life? Uh, I would ask around, and I would go to different lectures with different people. I would go to maybe yoga classes to get started, if you like, um, and read some books on people who, who teach these kinds of things, who teach the way of peace, the way of inner inner stillness. And, um, you'd ha- you know, like anything, you'd have to shop and, and check out various spiritual processes and, and see what happens. You want something that is actually going to be practical, something that mm-hmm. they give you something to do, right. and it's not just a repetitive ideology or, you know, a bunch of words or a bunch of new definitions for things. So that doesn't really help people. They need something to do that actually brings them into a deeper relationship with themselves. Tell, tell me more about Christian mysticism and, and how uh, it differs from other spiritual past philosophies and whatnot. Well, the Christian mystics are the ones that are experiencing God within, and they, they go within in meditation. They go within in, in a deep conversation and a deep communion with God within, and, and they see God and they hear God's voice. And that's the path, and it it usually has very little to do with dogma and very little to do with memorization mm-hmm. or academic training. Uh, the Christian mystics are the ones that usually have a teacher, uh, like Jesus and his disciples or Buddha and his disciples. That was a, Those would be mystical paths because they're people who train directly with a teacher on how to, how to be that way, how to become like the teacher. And so that would be like a relationship, and most people don't have that. They don't have a relationship with somebody they can uh, trust or somebody that they would look up to. You know, and, and admittedly, how many people can you look up to? I mean, because right. it's, that's hard to find people you can trust. Right, and, and <laughs> remarkable to know that uh, you've written four books and you're a singer-songwriter as well with ten mm-hmm. CDs of inspirational music. Talk about those a little bit. Well, the the, uh, the music came out of a, a desire on the part of our, our students and, and uh, the co-director, who um, Mother Claire Watts, who, who suggested I start writing songs that that she, that she remembers from another life that I used mm-hmm. to write, and so I started writing devotional songs to, uh, that have to do with the process that people go through on the spiritual path. So some of them are beginning experiences, some of them are more advanced experiences, some are my own personal experiences, some are your average person as they deepen in their spiritual life. And so each one has a various aspect or feel to that. And they're kind of folk rocky. I always liked, you know, James Taylor and the Beatles and, and Dylan and Donovan, and mm-hmm. I used to play those kinds of songs. And um, now I'm playing similar music, but different words that I write. And um, just it just deepens. It's very deep for people who um, may have trouble with, the, with, like, a lot of jargon or a lot of theology. This will take them into a meditative state, the songs themselves. And tell us a little bit more about the uh, presentations that you're going to be giving uh, from April 28th through May 1st at the uh, Center of Light in Framingham. Mm-hmm. Those should be very interesting. Talk a little bit more about those. Okay. Well, the, the, the Divine Feminine um, is the, the uh, part of us that really holds and values and accepts us totally. And it's it's the part of us that will start speaking wisdom to us when we get quiet enough and when we listen deeply enough. And that's it's, uh, intuition is sort of a, um, a random, you know, because you can't plan an intuition, so right. it happens to you. So it's similar. The intuitions come from the same source. They come from the soul, just like dreams do. Dreams come from the soul. And they're given to a person without a lot of conscious editing. They, their ego can't edit it. And... Um, so we're we're probably going to be going into that space of of trying to deepen and open and be receptive in that space. And for the men, the wounded hunter's heart, we're going to talk about the wounds to the uh, to the inner feminine in men mm-hmm. and their inability to talk about their feelings and and their resistance and fear about being vulnerable and um, their their tendency to just go out and, and uh, uh, do, 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 instead of uh, be receptive and, and surrender within in their meditative or in their quiet prayer life or in their devotional life. Uh, the other difficulty with men is not, not to know how to be in relationship with people. And 
you know, because most guys will talk about things that are already figured out. Right. But they won't talk about stuff that they're in the middle of, like they're in the middle of a process. They won't speak about that till it's done. Which leaves everybody out of the process. So if there's no peace of mind and no spiritual equilibrium, there is no holistic health. Exactly. I mean, the health comes because your mind's straight and your heart's uh, clearly on what you care about. When that happens, you, you're, the health in the body starts happening. Absolutely. Remarkable stuff. Father Peter Bose, thank you so much for being with us. Why don't you uh, share with everybody exactly how they can get on board uh, and maybe sign up and numbers they can contact. Uh, it's okay. at Contact Info. Okay, we're, we're at centersoflight.org. Um, we're at uh, askfatherpeter.org. We're at sophiarecords.com um, for, for uh, our radio station. Uh, you can check me on iTunes. You can check in Father Peter videos on YouTube. And um, the contact is um, Centers of Light um, Boston for um, Reverend Mary Francis or Reverend Christine or Reverend Michaela. And they would, they would give you information on how to get there to the center in Framingham. And it's... Um, it's going to be great. And folks can also call 617-990-7411. That's 617-990-7411 for Father Peter Bowes. Should be a remarkable presentation or two. And uh, I know folks are looking forward to that. And thank you so much for being on board, Father Peter Bowes. Thank you. For, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. All right. I think uh, we're going to take a short little break. We'll be back to take your calls. Uh, stay tuned. Friend us on Facebook. Link up at 969bostontalks.com. Do you suffer from allergies or know someone who does? Would you like to finally enjoy life allergy symptom free? Mass Allergy Relief Center in Lexington has the solution. Using holistic technology that corrects the negative reactions caused by allergies and sensitivities. At Mass Allergy Relief Center, their therapies are non-invasive. No needles, no drugs, no supplements. Just relief. Finally, with the help of Mass Allergy Relief Center, you can relieve chronic sinusitis, hay fever, food sensitivities, digestive issues, and other chronic complaints. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today at 781-274-7700. That's 781-274-7700. Visit them online at massallergyrelief.com. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today and get allergy symptom relief right away. Massallergyrelief.com. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. All right, let's see. We're going to take uh, Joan from Reading. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're in the Natural Health Show. Thanks for your patience, too. Hi. How are yes, you? Yes, um, good, thanks. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, I'm just wondering if you have any recommendations for natural supplements that would treat anxiety. Yeah, I think there's a couple things that I would uh, think about here. Uh, number one, I would recommend something like a 5-HTP, which is a hydroxytryptophan, 100, uh, 50, 50 milligrams twice a day. Mm -hmm. um, something like theanine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. -N -N -E. I like the 200 milligram capsules, uh, again, twice a day. Mm -hmm. And probably something like GABA, G-A-B-A, which is gamma aminobutyric acid. GABA, G-A-B-A, you can find in 500 milligram caps. I would try three of those a day on an empty stomach. I think those those are three that I'd recommend. So you wouldn't take them all together? Would you um, try one or the other? Or? I think I would use uh, probably two. I think I would choose the first two, 5-HTP and the theanine. Those are the first two that I'd recommend taking together. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. We've got Wayne in the line from Brockton. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're in the Natural Health Show. Hey, Mark. I've turned a lot of my friends on to your program. Oh, thank uh, you, Wayne. Middle-aged adults can use it. Use anything uh, helpful. I'm trying to increase my HDL, and the doctor wants to put me on a niacin, and I just don't feel like paying that for a prescription. Any natural? Yeah. There's a product made by... Kale, K A L. It's called Fucoidan. F U C O I D A N. F U C O I D A N. Fucoidan, and it's nothing more than a brown algae. 
And brown algae, and you know, there's many different types of algae. There's green, blue-green algae, and green algae, and red algae, yellow algae, etc. But the brown algae is the one in particular. I mean, a lot of studies indicate that. Uh, in fact, there's a company called Cianol, S-E-A-N-O-L, that has paid millions of dollars to sponsor a bunch of studies on that. But there's no question about the fact that the brown algae will drive up your HDL. They do a pretty nice job at it, and they'll help you bring down the bad is LDLs. Is that in Hanover? Well. Would that be in Hanover? Yeah, Good Health. Good Health has a few koi down on the shelves. I made sure of that. Okay. And real quick, um, might have to go in for a sleep test for sleep apnea. Mm -hmm, yep. Anything that might uh, accompany anything short of wearing that silly mask at night? Well, I mean, I think, um, you know, you can try things like a Natural Calm. Natural Calm is a magnesium citrate crystal that works. You take maybe three-quarters of a teaspoon. Uh, no, take a full teaspoon before bed at night, see how that helps. Um, I also really feel really highly about uh, passion flower, like a 500-milligram passion flower capsule or two. I'd say two of the 500-milligram passion flower caps and one heaping teaspoon of natural calm. What do these actually do? Well, natural calm is a, is a nerve membrane stabilizer. You know, it's a it's a mother nature's way to help relax you. Same thing with the, uh, we're going to have to actually uh, part from you, unfortunately. Thank you so much for calling, though. But those are really natural approaches to uh, to helping yourself get some good uh, rest and some nervine support as well. Uh, so let me know how you make out with those. And uh, while this hour goes by very quickly, I want to thank John Parker for great production work per usual. I want to thank Adam Ng for helping us with the podcast. Anybody interested in checking out the podcast work that we do here, you can certainly do that. Uh, it's www.maxhealing.com. Be sure to check out the possibilities on there as well on our site, maxhealing.com. We have all of our Fox 25 segments and the old NECN segments that I did for years, all our radio work, et cetera, et cetera. So you can check all that information out, listen back or view back. And again, these are podcasts. You can watch these programs anytime. Uh, we also have... Uh a store on there if you want to purchase any of the books that I've written, etc. So check all that good stuff out. And again, you want to stay tuned for Woody and Abby. Of course, Right Turn Radio coming up. New England's number one addiction program. And uh, I will be back here, of course, next Sunday at 5 o'clock. Until then, this is Mark Mincola reminding you all, please, be wise, be aware, be well, make it a healthy week. Good night.